Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Siobhan and I post videos on a Friday, a Sunday and a Wednesday. And if you want to stick around, please hit that subscribe button and that bell button so you're notified when I next upload a video. And if you enjoy this video at any point, please give it a big thumbs up. So today I'm going to be doing a DIY hacks video. This is one that I'm so excited to show you. It's four really easy and affordable DIY hacks for home decor. Bits from Ikea and bits from Poundland. So they're a bit of a mix of Ikea and Poundland hacks. I am super, super, super excited to show you this. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the things that you're going to need for this DIY hack, making your own centerpiece, home decor, sort of flower display, something like that, is you're gonna need the mirrored plates. These I got from Poundland and they are in the wedding section. These were an amazing find. I could not believe I found these. Um, and I picked up four of them because I'm gonna use four in this one, just for one. So if you want to, um, centerpieces like either side or whatever and um, then you can either use one two three four plates five six any as many as you want and this is these are just a really good find <laughs> I absolutely couldn't, couldn't believe when I found these next you're going to need a cocktail I think these are called a cocktail bowl they're just plastic they again are in the wedding section and yeah pound can't go wrong but this here, I'm gonna be using in today's hack. The next thing you're going to be needing is, again, out of Poundland. This is the candlestick holder. I thought this was absolutely gorgeous, one of my favorite finds this year in Poundland. I'm gonna be using this today as well, so you're gonna need something like this. Then you're going to, in the wet, keeping it with the wedding section, this is the ivory rose petals. You need to pick up a few of those, that's what I'm going to be using in this today's hack. Then you're going to need some sort of fairy lights, because I'm going to make this light up. Then you will need some kind of fake flowers. I got these for, I got these from Home Bargains. And they were like one pound something each and you get like a little, you know, you get a little bunch. And I love these, I thought these were beautiful, so they're perfect for my hack today. Then you are going to even need a glue gun. I got this one from Poundland, again another find, another really good find. Um, you can use any type of glue, anything that will make it all stick. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be using a hot glue gun. And that is everything that you're going to need for this DIY hack.
Okay, so here is the next hack that I'm going to do. This here was a candle. I bought it out of Primark for £2.50 and it's a really, really pretty design on it. So I wanted to reuse it as a DIY hack for, a, for home decor um, in your home. You get to reuse something um, so you don't have to go and buy this. Obviously, if you want to buy it to do this hack, you can use the candle first, so you get two uses out of it. It's so quick and easy and affordable for things that you have lying around the house. So here's what I'm gonna do with this, is I'm gonna take Oasis, so flower Oasis, and what all I've done is I've cut around it so that it fits inside here like so. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that. You can glue it down if you wish, just to keep it in place. But to be honest, it's wedged in there with what I've got, with the size that I've cut for it to go. So in so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to stick these little flowers, which are little foam flowers. I did pick these up from Hobbycraft, and um, there was a pack of I can't remember how many now, but there was quite a large pack for two pound. Um, so it's really cheap, and these are what I'm going to be putting in here today. And I did also buy these ones here just to make it a little bit more glam. But what you could do is you could get diamonds and just stick them yourself in the ends of these if you wanted to make it really cheap and affordable. So for our next hack, we are going to be doing the Ikea stool with um, fur or with a cushion. And I'm gonna show you how to glam up the four pound Marius Ikea stool and make it a lovely little stool.
whilst you are waiting for um, the legs of the stool that you've spray painted to dry, you then go on to the next step, which is the actual seat. And this is the bit that makes it so much more glamorous. So yeah, here we go. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is any cushion, any cushion will do, it has to have a zip, but any cushion will do. So I've got this one, it's really nice and fluffy. I got this from B&M and it was 7.99, I think. It um, might have been 8.99, but it might have been 7.99. It was about eight pound anyway. And it's really nice and fluffy. I absolutely love this. So always check that it has a zip for this one because this DIY is gonna need a zip. Then what you're gonna wanna do is you're wanna, gonna want to get your seat, the seat bit, and then you're gonna wanna put it in like so. Make sure that you have it with the bits to where you want the bits to be. Put that in there like so. Get it in there, look. And this fits perfectly for what I want to do with this stool. Make sure it's central and you're going to see the little bits that are poking out here. So this is the bit that you're going to make a little incision, a little cut in those bits and then it will poke through. So just get some scissors or anything like that. finished Ikea hack stall. This here would be lovely in a vanity, dressing table, whatever. The stall itself actually costs £4. The cushion on top I think costs £7.99 and then obviously the spray paint. I will link the spray paint below so you know which one I had. And this is the finished look. So it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm very very happy with it and it's very quick and easy to do. One of the easiest DIY home decor hacks there are out there. And I found it really easy and I absolutely love it. So it's gorgeous.
So once you have spray painted your used jar, I mean, this was a hot dog jar. Um, I just took the stickers off and reused it. You can use any jar that you may have lying around the house or when something's finished, it's always good to reuse. It's so obviously affordable because you don't have to do anything. I mean, you do need to have spray paint, but I've done a lot of projects with spray paint, so the spray paint can go across a lot and then it works out you don't use as much money. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be like a little vase. You could use this for pens, you could use it for absolutely anything. I'm personally going to put flowers in it because I just think that it would be a lovely little vase like so and yeah it's just a really nice little vase and I just made it out of something I had at home already I have reused it and I've just spray painted it gold I will leave a link below to any of the spray paint colors that I've used so that is going to go and conclude today's video guys if you enjoyed it at any point please give it a big thumbs up and if you want to stick around and see that my next few videos that are coming up are so exciting as well um, please hit that subscribe button and that bell button so you're notified when I next upload a video and also leave in the comments any sort of videos that you would like to see me do and I may include them in the future um, but yeah I'm going to go for now and I'm really really happy I got the hacks video out there because I absolutely enjoyed my doing it so yeah I will see you on my next video bye